Hey, welcome to the copywriting video and I'm pretty excited for this one. Like I'm pretty much excited for every video I make or every video I make for this course or for every day <laughs> generally. But this video is quite important because I'll tell you one thing. If you don't know how to write your copy, if you don't write your own copy, then don't do it. Outsource it. Because if you're just going to try and do that on your own without having any experience in it or not big experience, then probably it will suck. I'm just telling you right now because that's the way it goes. Like if you try writing your own copy without knowing how to do that just it's not gonna work for you i do recommend you outsourcing it and for this i prepared two sources that you can outsource it from and i do recommend because it's just gonna save you time and you're gonna get better results once people who are familiar with copywriting are gonna do it for you so let me show you here we have diane borlister and she's a hypnotic amazon copywriter you're probably like what is hypnotic amazon copywriter she uses different techniques for her copy and she's a lot about nlp which is proven to be really good with for example example doing copywriting and I'm gonna soon go through some of her videos when I'm gonna be breaking down the title bullet description part of the video but first she has a service I'm gonna link in the description down below for copywriting and second you have a free YouTube channel that she has and I think it's a gold mine this is a gold mine channel if you want to try doing your copy on your own or you just want to see her skills before you go and purchase her services but the thing is even the free videos for those who do their own copy are pretty sick like because the value she shared here is just utterly insane so i do recommend you watching i'm also going to go through some specific videos of hers but definitely consider using her services and just go and check her channel it's pretty awesome i'm going to link in the description down below as well the channel next option is go to fiverr in fiverr you can find all sorts of services to outsource like amazon copywriting for example and i would not recommend it really i would recommend if you're on a tight budget because yes on fiverr you can still get results and you will probably get results but again the the level of the work is probably not going to be as good it might be there are awesome copywriters there are awesome photographers on fiverr and nothing to say but usually you have to try different people until you find someone good so for this i would recommend you if you want to use fiverr and if you want to use cheaper services you can just go to a facebook group and say hey do you have any fiverr recommendations that you worked with for copywriting for example and people are going to share with you it's going to be pretty good now the next thing is you can share share with these copywriters it takes me back to scribbles now you can share the list of keywords actually they're going to ask it for you if you if unless they provide the keyword research as well like diane provides the keyword research for you as well but if you want to use your own keyword research with uh, what we've studied here and what we've learned here in the course you can take all the keywords you have and give them to your copyright and tell him like oh these are my keywords this is my density here's the spanish keyword just send him the excel table and explain him everything about it i recommend you recording a video by the way if you want to explain something to the person you're working with it's much better once you do that for the person you're working with and they're going to create a listing for you so hey, again we have two options we have diane that i recommend and fiverr that i also recommend if you're on a tighter budget the results might vary well up to you you can check out facebook groups to for recommendations for fiverr or just for any other copywriter that you want to try now let's get back to scribbles just want to remind you a few things about the scribbles here on the left we have the keywords that we found we have the phrases that we found the color here indicates the volume of the keyword red goes for the strongest volume and then blue here goes for the weakest or it gray here also goes for the weakest in the word so our idea is to build our listing on the right our listing consists of a title which has 200 charts max five bullet points generally it's about a thousand charts that get indexed but he looked at he recommends 100 which is pretty cool because that makes the bullet very short and to the point and subject matter is also going to be on your back end people are not going to see that but you also input keywords there we have five subject matter fields again it depends on the on the category of the product you have as you have the description or we have 2000 charts and search terms which is also on the back end you have 250 charts here we gotta fill all of this with the relevant keywords i'm going to show you how i do that uh, in a bit and that builds our listing that's going to be our listing that's how the search engine is going to find us by actually us inputting the right keyword but before that before writing anything you gotta understand who your customer is and you gotta do that even priorly to sort of say to writing your titles you gotta do that in the product research phase of your listing yes but once you're in the keyword research phase of listing for the copy for example there's a really golden tool that helium 10 also has it's called the review downloader and if you're not familiar with the review downloader i'm gonna up here link a video that i created about the review downloader previously and also i'm gonna link it in the description down below review downloader allows you to spy so to say on the reviews of your competition and let's see how it's done and why because with the review downloader you can 
can find parts of the reviews that are consistently being used in different reviews and therefore you can understand relevancy of a specific problem or a specific thing that people need or want and are excited about in these reviews so we're going to go through that in a bit and one more thing i would say is that you got to understand who your customer is now diane has some videos on her channel about that you're going to go and check it as well but you got to understand who your customer is and for this you can simply go to facebook groups and check out groups that are connected to your product for example for the knife it can be cooking niche it can be different groups of chefs and there you can join these groups you can join the discussions you can ask questions you can ask questions you can see simply ask a question like for example in a cooking group you can ask something like what is your favorite knife when why is it most your favorite knife what makes you excited in the kitchen what made you excited from the last knife you bought for example this way you can gather intel about your product if it's a kitchen knife yes and take it to your own niche also you can use google for that there are lots of forums there are lots of places you can find discussions about a specific topic forums blogs of cooks for example of chefs and you can find it by keywords as well there are lots of things on social media generally you can use the keywords that you have for your niche and search there you get to see who your buyer persona is who's buying from you actually what excites them what do they like so that's a pretty good thing again diane has many videos on this as well the next thing we can do is we can go and we should actually go and use the review download let me show you how it's done so for example we have the guy imarku here which is our kitchen knife that we've uh, identified yes that was our one of our competitors who has 2282 reviews which is pretty awesome because well that's a lot and we can actually understand a lot from it so we go to helium 10 chrome extension and in the chrome extension we have the review downloader okay and as i mentioned before it's gonna be in the description there's a full video about review downloader we're gonna dive deep into this part of the extension but here let me show you just a few things that are relevant to us we click on this and the review downloader allows us to download over his 2282 reviews and we can see different ones we can take only the one stars or we can take only the three stars or we can take all of them you can use the only verified purchases only ones have images etc and also dates if you want to see something more relevant something newer maybe somebody changed the model of the product many things for now i'm going to use all of them i want to understand the pattern about this product i want to understand what people like about it which phrases are common here what are people excited about what do they need what do they want what makes them happy to leave a review what are they mentioning in this review yes and now it's going to extract this pretty many reviews and from this we can use it in order to build our listing from the specific phrases that we're going to find and let's see how it's done so we go to analysis here we have all the reviews there's different variations here as well yes well we can use it for specific variations but let's just do it for all of them and here on the analysis we found 3666 phrases and here are the most common phrases that are common amongst reviews so we have 257 times the word or the phrase very sharp in our reviews or we have for the price and 94 of them or well balanced comes in 76 what does it mean what do we need to understand from it so for example if we go to very sharp we can open it up here like this and we can see all the reviews that speak about very sharp and we can read them i do recommend you on your product research phase or even if you keyword research take at least like five competitors five top competitors run through their listings do the review downloader on their listing and check out what is the common pattern that excites everybody what sucks about the product well the sucks part usually is for the product research because that's what we're going to improve but if something sucks you can use it to your own advantage like you say things like like unlike the others who are very dull and break fast ours is sharp and is going to get you the results you're looking for the meal you're looking to create how do we do that let's see so for example the word very sharp here comes in this video for example by jimmy james very sharp with a good quality feel to the handle feel to the handle okay so we understand from this that yes they have the sharpness is important but also the quality but also the handle is important for the guy all right the knife is lightweight very sharp out of the box and easy to handle okay easy to handle knife very sharp very important so people want something lightweight maybe very sharp and easy to handle we continue let's just take something random oh look at this we have one star let's see what the one star says the knife is if very sharp and cuts well but some water was splashed on it and overnight rusted oh what well, that's very sharp that is still pretty awesome but it rusted so what we understand from this review well we gotta check that our knife is not gonna rust right we're gonna check out our anti-rust or stainless steel abilities love them very very sharp canon magnetic boxes for if you don't have a knife them not sure what's going on here i love this knife very sharp and used almost every day just be careful it's very sharp when it arrives the knife is also very sharp so you see the sharpness is very important for our people what can we understand from this it means that if this is something that people want and they're excited about we can use it in our copy we can use it in our title we can use it in our bullet points we can use it in our description we need to emphasize that ours is very sharp because people care about it of course the sharpness is there not just 
just for the sharpness. It's for making that buttery smooth cat in order to make that very tasty and appealing uh, meal. That's why would I have a sharp knife to make a good meal for my family? Yes, by the way, not a good cook, but <laughs> you know what I mean. But well balanced, for example, also comes here. Oh, well balanced. Well balanced. What does it mean? What is well balanced? It is also well balanced. This is well balanced, sharp, multi use knife. Sharp, so attractive, well balanced too. Well balanced. So it means people want something well balanced, something that's sharp, small, comfortable. We can use this in our copy, on our pictures even, we can use it as slogans. You're gonna see the in the next lessons, we're gonna have the lesson about the, the images and we're gonna see how we can use slogans on our images. Pretty exciting. But look at this, good quality, out of the box. Like what it means out of the box? So it's important probably for people for it to be sharp out of the box, just I'm thinking, yes? It was honed and ready to use out of the box, sharp right out of the box. Yes, exactly, out of the box was razor sharp. So out of the box is important, like yeah. people get excited when they get it pretty good. Or as you can see, there are uh, the general review pattern here is 4.1. That means that maybe somebody didn't get a sharp out of the box by saying uh, as being someone that also has a product that's pretty sharp and you know, like uh, <laughs> sharpness sometimes for many reasons, when a product that should be sharp comes dull, then people are a bit uh, angry on this. Well, makes sense, right? Best knife so far. So far, you can say like so far, but only have used it once. I'm impressed so far and so far no rusting, you see. So what you do with the review downloader, you need to take a few ASINs, check out all the pattern that is common amongst the ASINs and maybe copy it to your Excel table as well. And then you understand what's going on here, like what is the things for our listing. And then once you're going to be writing your title, yes, then you can use it for your own advantage. So let's go back to our scribbles and let's see what it does it mean to write a title. And what will you remember? Remember the sharpness, the well built, for example, yes. Let me show you just a quick example of a title and we copy paste it here. But for example, chef knife. Yes, that's our main keyword. We want to have our main keyword on the left side of the title because that's where it starts. Here we're going to emphasize on the strongest keywords. Then we can continue with our unique value proposition. Then it depends on the product. Yes, and can be specific technology or product use. We're going to get to that soon in Diane's video. So we're going to check. It can be something that is including some gift. It depends. Whatever your value proposition is with bigger handle, with the more, you know what I mean? Like something that kind of sets you apart. But for example, here I use chef knife, razor sharp stainless steel kitchen knife with a well-balanced built and ergonomic handle. Why? Because I saw that people care about the well-balanced built. I saw that they care about ergonomic handle, the review downloader. This, by the way, probably will be also if I were to do a deeper product keyword research, ergonomic handle would be part of the keywords. Then it continues great for professional and everyday in home usage. So for example, if I identify that my knife would be great for chefs and chefs would be interested in this kind of build and knife and also everyday in home usage as well. So that's pretty awesome, right? We can also include transformation. Yes, something like great for professional and everyday home usage for, for the creation of your dreamy meal. And of course, I want to use keywords here as well. Usually what I do is I use the strongest keywords in the beginning, then I can also mix with something that is more like a long tail keyword. So for example, great cutting knife for professional and everyday in home usage. Yes, that could be an example. So that's an example of a title. Now also, once you're going to be writing stuff in the scribbles, for example, if you use chef knife as a phrase, it's going to be deleted here. You see, we have used it once and it's deleted because we've already used it. Now we want, as we remember the density, if for example, we found that the average density for the chef knife, for example, is going to be like using it five times throughout the listing so you can use it somewhere in your bullet point somewhere in your description for example it might appear in your subject matter and it can appear in your search terms yes you see we have it five times and why am i so confident about it well if i see that my competition has it ten times seven times five times all of them have it in their listing this creates keyword density this is the way search algorithms work obviously it's going to be helpful for us to include it now i don't recommend you including twice the chef knife in the title yes that's not something that we need but if you use it again in the bullet point it's gonna be pretty awesome let me take you to a video of diane where she explains about titles and i do recommend you watching this video i'm gonna link you in the description down below as well and give you an, an example of so say of diane of how she writes the title so for example let's look at this there's one option here but she gives you eight options if i remember right in her video here so i do recommend you watching it it's gonna be linked in the description pretty crazy by the way we will stop if you're enjoying this video up until now if you're still with me please like it it's pretty exciting to make it i really like copywriting so please please like it Feel free to drop comments. Actually, drop comments. Let me know what you think in every video of this course. And that's awesome. Please subscribe if you like this course so far. If you're landing here for the first time, still subscribe because there are other things to come. I do it. I like it. I love it. I hope you enjoy it and I hope it benefits you. So let's go back. So let's see. Diane here uses her title and one option, by the way. So it goes brand name. 
Yes, you, you, Amazon is going to enforce it on you. Main keyword, product name. She even names her product. You can see how she does it in her videos. And then she uses the important hypnotic anchor feature benefits transformations. For example, Bubalu ultrasonic pest repeller plugin, which is the keyword. Mouse await 5000. That's the way she called her product. You, you see that many big brands call their products in, in names? iPhone X, iPhone X. What was the iPhone X2 now? iPhone X11? iPhone 11, I think I haven't used iPhone for a while, but what I'm saying is people name their products, companies name their products. Why? Because it, well, it works better as an anchor. People see its differentiation. Yes, it gives your product more life. Again, you can check out videos of her and I'll explain this. A Bumbaloo ultrasonic pest repeller plugin, keyword, mouse weight 5000, electromagnetic render mouse trap alternative. Other keywords, we have the, um, the mouse trap here, rodent mouse trap, electromagnetic, rod and mouse trap mouse trap alternative you see she stuffed some keywords that's a good way to write your title when you can stuff from a few keywords that are built together they so to say create a few phrases you see what i'm saying here by making them of course sound well not just blah 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 keyword 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 yes it needs to be readable and that's exactly what happens here so bubble ultrasonic best repel plugin mouse with 5000 ultramagnetic rod and mouse trap alternative and here's the cool thing uses powerful five in one oscillating technology that's the brain anchor that's oscillating technology. You know, Gillette uses some technology, needs some technology here. <laughs> but technology is something that also works as an anchor in the brain of the customer because they remember that, all right, this product had this oscillating technology, five and one, and the others don't have it. That makes you stand out. You see how powerful copy is? So uses powerful five and one oscillating technology to quickly and permanently drive away rodents, mosquitoes, rats, mice for a pest-free home. What happens here? So permanently drive away rodents, mosquitoes, rats, mice. These are the biggest problems for the people with this pest repeller rodents mosquitoes rats mice and why they want to drive them away just to make them run to see the mice run like in the cartoon no to get a pest free home that's why they're using it isn't that awesome isn't this an is not it an, a great title now of course you got to do it for your own you got to take your own research for this yes but let's see what other titles she has here usually she just used the same product here yes but here for example ultrasonic pest repel plugin you see because here's a bit different title why to when you met with max ranking space and your brand isn't important because they're also different so to say title needs you not always need to use specific parts of the title she's going to explain it to you in the video but for example here as you can see she doesn't use the brand name at least not in the beginning so let's just try let's just scroll it a bit more so ultrasonic pest repeller plugin mouse await 5000 electromagnetic mouse trap alternative uses 5x pest repeller oscillation technology she renamed her technology to drive away rodents, rats, mice, and for a screw-free pest-free home. You see again, for what? For a screw-free pest home. That's what they want. This is a very nice title. You want to type your titles in a way that excites people like this. Pretty much a good idea. And these are examples. Again, the video is going to be in the description. Check it out later on for cool titles and ways to hack your customer's brain. Next thing in the scribbles, we're going to have a bullet point. Now, I would advise you for bullet point number one, uh, having because usually people don't really read bullets. They don't really even read the title all the way up, you know? And the more keywords you technically have in your title, if it's not read, then they're gonna quit reading it really fast. If it does flow, they will finish reading it. Depends again, yes? That's why you wanna have something that flows easily. Next we have the bullet points. The first bullet point, is something you want to have all your main things, main problems, main desires in, in either of them or both, depends on how you position it. Because many people read the first bullet and then they skip, right? Usually that's what happens. Usually they actually don't read it, but if they do read, they're going to read the first one. So at least make it be the powerful one, the one that will emphasize the biggest again, problems, fears, desires of a customer, depends on how you take it. Let's go to Diane's bullet video and see what she does. There are some different bullet points she has here. And I have two videos of her, so there's a, the, number one and number two. Here's an example of the bullet point. And here we have the revolutionary comfort field. We have again the technology here. So just is an example, look at this, the only keyword. Okay, that's gonna be, I think it was headphones, right? The only headphones with revolutionary comfort feed technology. And there's a lot to say about the only because this makes the customer get locked in here. The only one with this specific technology. Like, and technology can be created. She explains it in the video as well, how to create the technology for your own product. I'll just sum it up. For example, comfort fit is something that people, once you identify the problems of the buyer, you'll see that they want comfort in the ears and they want it to fit their ears well. We're speaking about headphones now. Yes, probably all of you are familiar with this product, yes? Comfort fit technology. Product name, let's say, super headphones leverages your body's natural heat, mode, where we modes to your inner ears exact shape. 
So you understand, it's probably very important for people to have it mowed to their ears because they might be like, well, maybe my ears are too small or too big or whatever. But no, this modes to inner inner is exact shape, muting external sounds for you and anyone near you. That's important because you want to hear yourself, your music very well, and you don't want to hear anything around you. But also you don't want others to hear what you're listening to, right? Sometimes you want to keep your songs private. You know, for example, for me here, we have Eminem, we have some uh, a Russian uh, Rus this is a rapper and FPG, which is a punk rock and some stuff from RuneScape. But uh, what I'm saying is you don't always want us people to hear what you're listening to, yes? While staying put while you run, jog or play. So all of this cool stuff happens that you hear your music well, don't have the external sounds, but you're still able to run, jog or play because that's what people want. So you see this bullet point really gathers specific problems of people, their desires, also has their comfort technology, which is a brain anchor. Isn't that amazing? That's the way to write the bullet points. And here, of course, we have the keyword. You see, she uses keyword. You can use extra keyword here. Depends, of course, on the length of the bullet. You gotta make them shorter if you want. But remember, it's about a thousand characters once it stops indexing. And yeah, we're gonna get to the indexation lesson soon as well. That's an example. Let's see another example of a bullet point. The XYZ secret to transformation they want. Okay, if people want transformation, so here it is. The Egyptian secret to flow with skin. That's probably some sort of a mask or something or some cream. Ever wonder why Egyptian women have glowing, gorgeous, touchable skin? men lust after even in their 50s, 60s and 70s. So for example, maybe the ones who are buying are in their 50s, 60s and 70s because you're speaking to the customer. You see, you're speaking to him, the one that is reading. If you've identified him, you can easily speak to him one on one like I'm doing with you. Why Egyptian women have glowing, gorgeous, touchable skin men lust after. So probably women want a man to lust after their skin, right? Or generally after their body parts or after them. Yes, even in their 50s, 60s or 70s and they want glowing, gorgeous touchable skin the, the woman is like yeah that's me like i want that it's not because they have a cleaner environment or healthier foods it's because they use the proven ingredients in your product name to keep their skin looking young vibrant and beautiful year after year after year this is one form to write a bullet point now in this video and the other one about the bullet points which i'll link in the description you have lots of examples for bullet points so just go there take ideas and implement and it's going to be pretty useful for you and there are lots of them she's pretty much a genius in copywriting in my opinion yeah ever wonder how all these gorgeous can oh that's the next one but what i'm saying here is that essentially you see the bullet points of course they use also the the Keywords. I'm not sure if she included keywords here. Well, skin is going to be a keyword that is connected to the product. Maybe I would use here also a keyword, yes, that is connected to this cream or whatever that is, you know, proven ingredients in product name cream or the skin cream, whatever that is, yes, to include some keywords as well in the bullets. But generally, bullets, if people are going to be reading them, they're going to see something transformational. Now, one thing that Diane used as well is using all caps in the beginning. So, for example, the Egyptian secret to flow is skin. And then once that continues, ever one wonder you see they see this the skimmers people who skim they will see the big ones ever wonder ever wonder like yeah i want to continue reading you see the idea of this is in your bullet is to make the person continue reading because you see ever wonder you don't want to stop here you want to continue ever wonder what like i want to know why egyptian women have and then she uses proven ingredients again which again is showing the important thing that people want to see because once they skim there are proven ingredients they might read a bit more here in product name you see that that's, that makes them convert even further. So that's about our bullet points. Now we have five of them here. Again, you want to use your keywords there. Yes, eventually you want to have all these keywords that are on the left. Just I'm going to do it quickly just for the sake of it. Cutting, chefs, don't do that. Everything to be included in our subject matter, in our title, in our bullets. So everything here is going to be eventually crossed out. That means everything is going to be placed in our listing and is going to be relevant for us. In the next part, we're going to speak about the description. Now there are a few options for description description and again we're going to go back to Diane's video and the description is uh, essentially you can have it as a story and you can have it as a description that's more technical. Let's see an example. It's a portable toddler bed. We have some keywords, of course, in the description, but this description is a bit different. This is a story. I'm fortunate because I'm able to bring my little ones along with me on my work travels. And while I love having a company, my sleep suffered, my work suffered, and my passions grew shorter by day. Yes, like most parents who wish their kids would sleep more peacefully, I just figured it would affect as a, as a parenting trainer. I was also somewhat familiar with the children who feel comfortable in their environment, experience the best. Right. Here's in the story, and the person speaking here is I, like the creator of the product. Inside I worried I'd have to give up 
Of course, she's speaking to what people suffer from. Like she loved having the company of the children, but her sleep suffered, her work suffered. People are like, yeah, that's me. I can relate to that. Relatability. And then she discovered how to make her feel right at home, comfortable, but get a boost her life and still take them along on my travel. Like she discovered, you see, it's also written in big words, capitalized with people like who skim will look at it. Well, then she goes and explains what the product is, how she created it. Yes, or I'm looking here. Okay. It actually created her own product here. One that supports an ideal alignment, all night sleep patterns without breaking or digging into one's back. So my kids just say it's just like sleeping in your arms, mom. Like you see some social proof for the kids. There's also lifetime warranty. So that's an example of a description that is a story. You can also have a more of a specific description that is more technical. You also find it in this video of Diane, which is pretty awesome. So let's go back to Rebels. Yeah, essentially you're going to fill the description of 2000 charts. You're going to use your keywords here. You can stuff it with keywords, with relevancy, with the story as you wish, but I like ending it with my guarantee again, plus call to action in the end of the description. That's something I like doing. I believe that Diane also does it. You can have a guarantee also in the bullet points, a call to action in the bullet points, even work with it as you wish. Then you continue adding all these keywords here, and then we're going to fill the subject matter as well. So in the indexing part of the listing, I'm going to go a bit deeper into this, but essentially again, subject matter, we have 50 bytes here and here, usually in the first subject matter, I will use, I will call copy the keywords that are really important. So I could copy like oh, chef knife, for example, kitchen knife. I can copy some phrases. I can copy chef's knife. Yes, we have 37 in Mark. Chef's Knife, Imarku, Kitchen Knife, you see that's the brand name. And then we have Chef's Knife and we have seven left. So what you want to try is to get about 50, play with it. And this way I will fill all the subject matters with all the keywords that are relevant. Of course, we're going to fill them here because we don't want to use like, for example, Spanish keywords in the front end of our listing because well, probably it's not going to be looking that good. People don't speak Spanish all of them. Same for, for the search terms. Here, I'll add the remaining keywords. For example, we have Cuchillo the Chef here. Yes, that we've added. And then we also have Cooking uh, Knives. And we're going to add it like this. I'm going to fill the search terms. The idea is to get everything that is relevant into our listing in order eventually to get it indexed and working well and for us to be relevant. And this is the way technically we write our listing. So again, I'm going to link Diane's and Fiverr's services in the description down below. I'm going to link the videos of Diane and her channel because it will really help for those of you who like copywriting or just if you want to learn more here, there you also understand how to find your prospect and lots of many different cool things. I'm going to link the review down or the video down there as well. Now in the next video up here, we're going to see how we index the stuff, how it works. And that's the next indexation video. And please join me there. It's going to be pretty awesome. Thank you for being with me in this lesson and see you in this one.